welcome everybody to our Los Angeles County GIS Day. My name is Dr. Steve Steinberg. I am the County Geographic Information Officer, and I will be introducing the event this morning and then uh, moderating our speakers through today. So to go ahead and get started, once again, uh, all of you will be on mute as webinar participants, but if you do have questions, you can use the Q&A bubble on your Zoom toolbar to post questions in that window uh, during speakers talks, and then we'll moderate from those questions as the speakers end. And if you have any issues either with uh, the live meeting or any of the events that are on the main website, uh, there is a help email, gisday at ISD lacounty.gov that you can also email and we will be monitoring. So with that, um, let me get started. So first off, I just wanted to let you know who all is here at the event. Um, as our first ever virtual event, obviously things are a little bit different. Um, we have, as of this morning, over 750 people registered from a number of different uh, realms, government, academia, private industry, and the public. Um, so that's really exciting for us. And over the next two days, uh, we hope you'll find uh, lots of opportunities to engage with uh, all the aspects of the event. Um, this again is our first virtual event and you know, we'll hopefully make everything work well for you and, and you'll be able to take advantage of that. I do wanna mention just briefly, um, earlier this summer, we launched our county GIS website and data portal in its new form. And if you are interested in finding GIS data for your own projects that may be uh, available through the county, this is a great place to look. Um, and as you scroll through that page, you'll also find a number of applications that are offered uh, for different purposes at the county. And uh, you'll also notice there is a big gold button there. We're take, we have a survey uh, to take feedback on our open data portal as that's evolving through the coming months. So just to give a little quick context, about 13 years ago was the first GIS Day event in Los Angeles County. Uh, GIS Day has been celebrated globally for over 20 years now. Um, and it was really initiated here in the county to showcase the work of our county departments and how they use geospatial tools to serve uh, the needs of our, of our departments, our workflows and our public. And of course, this year we're continuing despite the challenges of having to go virtual. Um, and I think that really is demonstrated in our theme virtually everywhere. Um, we've been able to, across all county departments, continue to provide the geospatial services and support uh, to all of our county departments uh, through this interesting time we were living through. Um, and it does prevent provide a number of really great benefits to our county uh, services. I would encourage you, we have 13 county departments that have pages in our virtual expo hall uh, that talk more about what they're doing with GIS and show some examples of their applications and, and activities using GIS. I'd also like to give a big thank you to all of our sponsors, uh, those listed on the screen here. Um, and in particular, I want to call out Eagle View. They were generous in providing us with this Zoom webinar platform so we could do the virtual event. Um, and uh, of course, all of our sponsors are, are valuable in providing support and and prizes for the game and the cake competition that I'll mention in a moment. Um, I encourage you again to visit the virtual expo and check out what their organizations are doing and how they work with uh, the county at, in education in services and support um, and technology for the geospatial work we all do. Um, and a number of our sponsors are not just exhibiting in the expo hall, which you can visit anytime, but also a number of them have live presentations over the next two days. I wanna remind you all not to forget our GIS Day game. Again, we've gone virtual with a geo hunt that will give you clues to notable sites across the county. And if you finish the 10 question uh, search uh, in the geo game, uh, you will receive a lovely certificate of completion and also have an opportunity to enter into our drawing for door prizes. Um, so I encourage you again to play that through the two days. Of course, the sooner you play, the less people will be in the raffle at the time of the drawings. We'll be doing drawings around noon today, end of day, and then again tomorrow, noon and end of day. So get in there and play early uh, and only one entry per person, please. And then of course, it wouldn't be GIS Day without a GIS Day cake. So while we don't have the option of serving cake 
uh, on site like we normally would this year, we do have a cake uh, decorating contest. And I'd encourage you, if you haven't already, consider baking and decorating a cake and then submitting your photos uh, to the contest. And again, there will be prizes for a number of categories that you can see at that URL or use your QR code scanner on your device to get details. That's also linked off the main page. Um, and if you do need some ideas on either how to make a cake or uh, how to how to get involved, there will be a noontime presentation by Amanda Bullen uh, from Eagle View on baking the GIS Day cake. And if you, during a break before then, want to get your ingredients together, there's an ingredient list on her talk description. So once again, I want to welcome everybody to the event. I'm looking forward to a great two days with everybody here and all of our sponsors, exhibitors, and presenters. And with that, I'd like to introduce for a welcome um, the City of Los Angeles controller, Mr. Ron Galperin. Um, Ron is a friend of GIS Day. He's spoken at our event in the past, and we extended an invitation to him to give a brief welcome at this point. So we'll give it to you, Ron. Good morning and happy International GIS Day. Uh, it is uh, so great to be with you. Thank you so much uh, again for inviting me to this, Steve. Uh, you are a, a host extraordinaire, uh, not to mention uh, the work that you've been doing for the county and really work that has reverberated throughout all of our nation. And uh, as controller for the city of Los Angeles, I really wanted to say thank you to the county of Los Angeles and thank you so much specifically to you for all that you have done to help create and to build this. Um, the spread of COVID-19, as we all know, has impacted pretty much every facet of our lives, from school and business closures, social distancing guidelines. We are faced with unprecedented challenges, and we've had to find ways to adapt to a new normal. And now more than ever, we've really seen the value of GIS and the ability to transform the way that we deliver uh, data and information and services to the public. And I know that so many of you who are uh, on this webinar have been very much at the center of that. Um, I'm passionate about the ability of data and particularly of GIS to better the work that we do in government, in the private sector, to improve and even save lives. Uh, my office has used this time as an opportunity to really think about how do we best leverage uh, existing and new GIS assets to expand access to much needed resources to the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, we're uh, going to put into the chat a number of different uh, links, but uh, a couple of things I'll call uh, your attention to and feel free to check them out. Um, in addition to the uh, county's uh, COVID-19 dashboard, we have a city uh, version of it as well, uh, which maps and tracks infections and, and unfortunately deaths uh, for community by community by community uh, within the city of Los Angeles, which are the top ones, uh, unfortunately. Uh, total number of cases looking at uh, ethnicity, at gender, at age, and really kind of overlapping it with other kind of information that gives you a full picture or as full a picture as we can uh, that uh, tells us where these infections are happening and where we really need to concentrate our resources, both as a city and as a county. Uh, this last week, we also put out the city's first LA Equity Index. And uh, this actually looks in depth at 100 plus neighborhoods and looks at this at census tract by census tract and uh, at all sorts of different measurements, everything from rent burden, poverty level, home ownership, air quality, closeness to toxic releases, uh, proximity to traffic uh, and educational levels, access to the internet, food and health insurance, and much more. And it's really meant to look at each and every one of our neighborhoods and where we are doing okay and where we are falling short and at the tremendous, tremendous inequity that we have in a city with so much wealth but also so much poverty and so much need. And I'm hoping that this particular equity index and we assign actual numbers based on, on this data will help really to have better allocation of resources so that we can achieve truly better equity. Um, some of the other things that we've put out in terms of mapping, we've got a food map, which maps every single one of the food pantries and food banks and grab and go centers and much more 
in the whole of the state of California, 1,800 of these resources are now mapped. We mapped uh, the uh, microloans being given out by the city to small businesses. Uh, and since uh, the museums have been closed, we mapped all of the city's public art so that you can actually drive around and still take in a little bit of culture. And all of this is also part of a new report that we issued looking at how the city can improve all of its digital services. So check it out at lacontroller.org. And I wanted to just really thank an amazing uh, team of people that I have in the LA City Controller's office. None of these things happen without wonderful people. Uh, and I particularly wanna call out the name of Chelsea Luchtenberg, who's uh, doing so much of our mapping and our GIS. And uh, thank you, Chelsea, for the work you've been doing. So uh, this is a real opportunity that we have in front of us right now, is to take the challenges and to turn them in to better ways to serve. And I just wanted to thank you so much for being a part of this, for all the work that you're doing each and every single day. Look forward to partnering and look forward in the hopefully not too distant future to actually seeing you in person. Thank you so much and happy International GIS Day. All right, thank you very much, Ron, for that great uh, welcome. And we appreciate everything you at the city and your office do to collaborate on these, uh, these events. So thank you again, uh, and we'll look forward to working with you in our future.